Hi, everybody. This is Professor Monty, and let's figure out how to find roots using synthetic division. So we've got this polynomial. What we do, write down just the coefficients. Now, if you were missing one of these powers of x, say we didn't have an x squared, I'd have to put a zero right here in the x squared column. But I'm not missing any powers of x. I go 3, 2, 1, 0. So just list them all the way they are. And let's check one of these. Suppose we're checking to see if negative 2 is a root. Well, the way synthetic works, you bring the 2 straight down, and you do negative 2 times 2. So whatever this number is, you multiply there. You Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And then you add these down. Negative 2 plus negative, negative 9 plus negative 4, rather, is negative 13. Do the same thing. Multiply the negative 2 by the negative 13. So we get 26. Add down 7 plus 26, 33. Multiply again. Negative 2 times 33 is negative 66. So we get a remainder of negative 60. What we're looking for is a remainder of 0. If we get a remainder of 0, it means whatever number we put out here is, in fact, a zero or a root of this polynomial. This isn't equal to zero, so I know negative two is not a root. Therefore, negative two is not a root. All right, so let's check another one to see if we can find a root. So what I'm going to do is grab my eraser. Let's erase all this, and let's try maybe the number three. So again, two, negative nine, seven, six. And let's try to see if three is a root. Same procedure for synthetic division. Bring this lead coefficient two just straight down. Multiply by the number out front. So three times two is six. Add down, we get negative three. Three times negative three is negative nine. Add down negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. This time we see we get a remainder of 0. We get a remainder of 0, so that means 3 is a 0 or a root of the function. So therefore, 3 is a 0 of this polynomial. It's one of the solutions. Now, what's really nice about this isn't that we just found 3 to be a 0. Now, we have an x to the third, so we know there's three roots. We don't know they're all rational roots or they could be complex, but we know there's two more roots. But what's nice is we don't have to start off with the two negative nine, seven, six again and try to find another zero of this polynomial. We've actually simplified it. Since I know x equals three is one of my roots, I know x minus three really was the factor. So what I really did is I factored this by x minus 3, and I get this. So since I factored by an x, dropped all these powers by 1, so instead of this being a 2x cubed, this is now 2x squared. Minus 3x, minus 2. So now when I go through for my synthetic division, this is what I need to factor. And in fact, I don't even use need to use synthetic division for that if I don't want to, because now I'm down to a quadratic. And I can just factor that by, look at one of my other methods. I showed the illegal move method for factoring trinomials, where you have a lead coefficient not equal to one. Or you could just use a quadratic formula to figure out what the other two roots are. So anyway, works really quickly. Synthetic division, really nice to use. It's a good tool to have in your toolkit, much, much easier than long division. All right, if you like this video, if it helps you, please like it so other students can find it. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you some more stuff coming up. Thanks.